going to this press conference by head coach Jeff Camperoni, along with student athletes Jack Trainer and TJ Malone. Coach, if we could have an opening statement from you, and then we'll go to questions for the kids. Congratulations to Duke, um, and good luck in our championship game. Obviously, heartbroken for our guys. I thought they just just battled throughout the course of the day, and I hope that when we when we leave here today, and I know it's going to be a challenging one, but they can just um, just look back with no regrets. I mean, they they, they left their hearts on that field today. <clears throat> just really made uh, our staff and Penn State just so proud. Questions for the student athletes. David Melanger, Sports Talk, Philly, and Nittany Central. Questions for both players. How do you, how do you guys uh, react to a moment like that, especially how the game ended? And for TJ, can you talk about your six goal performance today? Yeah, we're uh, you know, we're definitely not a group to sit up there and point fingers and you know, kind of ask what if. Um, unfortunately, that was a circumstance. Just try to hold our heads high, be proud of what we accomplished. Yeah, just. Uh, um, it was really tough to to see kind of how that ended, um, but it, that's how it happened. And uh, just our team, our offense was playing amazing all game, so it was just fun to be a part of that. TJ, Max George from the Delco Times. Uh, you, you guys were chasing this game for most of it. Um, what did it feel like when you guys finally got even, and how well do you think you guys handled that pressure of being behind most of the way? Yeah, we've, we've been playing from behind most most of the year, and we, we were exactly where we wanted to be. We knew if we were close in that fourth quarter, then they were going to start feeling the pressure, and, and that's exactly where, where we wanted to be, and that's where we play our best. Uh, we just couldn't get over that edge. Yeah, I think the the uh, the culture that we've we've uh, the senior class has continued to build uh, to continue to build um, is in a better spot. Um, we hope, and we hope that the younger guys can continue to build on it and sustain, and sustain it for the future. TJ Malone, Pepin R from Edge of Philly Sports. Six goals. We're facilitating the ball well, playing physical. You guys won against the normal seeded team in Duke, and you guys took them to the limits, got to another time. What was your mindset from the start of this game and with the performance that you had today? Yeah, I think the mindset was just if we play tough and we play together, then it gives us the best opportunity uh, to to win, and we we uh, we knew that the pressure was on them to kind of win, and we didn't have any of that pressure, so we just went out there and, and tried our best and stuck together throughout the whole time, and I'm just so proud of, proud of the team for that. David Melinger of the Sports Talk Philadelphia. Do you guys feel like you gained a lot of new fans today for those that had never watched Penn State lacrosse game today? I would hope so. You know, I think that we go out there. One thing we try to do is play hard, and I think you know you're going to attract fan base if your team is going to go out there and just you know try to play as hard as possible. Can you know we might not always be the most talented group. There might, might be uh, you know some teams out there more ta with more talent than us, but you know we play hard, and I think uh, you know hopefully people see that and uh, you know appreciate that from us. Uh, Dan Jones from Penn Live. Jack, did you see any? Evidence in them. I mean, they're a really good team. Been playing for the head most of the year. That when you kept hanging around, hanging around, hanging around, any sort of who are these guys from from Duke, and especially in the second half. 